Hey Jason, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this uh, revision of your program that I made for you. Uh, first off, how I, what, what I, I believe you're trying to accomplish with this is you've got an input that occurs. Uh, when that happens, you want to read a clock depending on the particular hour. You want the, uh, a, a delay uh, to be set. It can be different based on which hour it is. And then uh, you want this delay to be weighted, um, after which point the, an output will come on for two seconds, then turn off and, and wait for the next thing to happen. So that, that's how, what I understand your project to, to be doing right now. Um, and I'll show you how, how I've kind of rearranged it a bit. We, uh, we start out just like you did. We, we check the signal, and if it is on, we, we, we go ahead and read the time just like you did. And then you can see here I've got the different hours laid out. And what they do now is they just copy a value into this new tag I created, uh, timer delay. And um, I, I, th I think the way you had it set up, there were, all of these were five seconds. And um, in, in this particular case, it's 30 seconds. Uh, but anyways, I store that off in a register. And then I, I do a couple things. I, uh, I'm going to set up a state machine, and if you haven't looked into those, check out our video tutorials we've got on state machines. I really recommend look, uh, setting up all your programs as a state machine. Uh, so we, we set our state machine to 1. We reset our timer. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're more familiar with uh, going like this with the reset. Uh, sorry. Uh, this with the reset. Uh, but putting a zero in the copy is, is the same thing. It's equivalent. And then we start the timer. And you'd create a, a unique timer for each of these. Um, I think you can knock it all out with one single timer. So, so that, that's what I've done. Uh, so, so we do that. We, um, once that's done, we loop back. This whole thing happens in one big loop. Um, if uh, you see here. Okay, so... Uh, once the signal is off again, then we will have set up, you know, we, we assign the state equal to 1, so we will have set it up so when the signal goes to the no, uh, it'll check out, okay, is my state equal to 1? And right off the bat it isn't because um, all, vari all tags, when they the powered on or, or you reset your program, are going to be equal to 0. So only if it's actually gone through this, uh, this, this first process would it have would it have been a value one? And if it is, then what it's going to do is it's, it's going to ask, has my timer uh, is my timer greater than my timer delay in seconds? And uh, if so, it'll do the next thing. And if not, and this is critical, if not, we need to tell it what to do. Uh, that was something I didn't see in your code. You um, you're kind of leaving off the not blocks, and it's important to uh, to tell it what to do. When um, when it's when something's not yet reached, um, otherwise it'll restart from the it'll start the logic back at the beginning of the program. Sometimes that's okay, but but a lot of times it's not. Uh, okay, so if, after this my timer delay, which is five seconds or thirty seconds in in these above cases, uh, then it's going to do a couple things. It's going to change the state equals to two, so that next time it loops around, it'll it'll come over here and it'll do this logic. It's going to put a zero in my timer, so we're resetting this timer because we're going to use the same timer again for the two seconds of the output being on. And it puts the value 1 into out bit uh, D1, which is the same thing as a turn on statement. If you put a 1 in a bit, you're turning it on. So uh, that, that's just a shortcut we do around here a lot. Uh, so, so once this is true, it's going to go around. Uh, the state's not going to be equal to uh, 1, so it'll fall down to here. State will be equal to 2. And we will check to see, is my timer greater than or equal to 2 seconds? Uh, if it is, we're going to set state equal to 0, which uh, all that's going to do is next time it comes around, it'll ask, is it 1? No. Is it 2? No. Uh, go back to the main loop. It's just going to hang out in, in just kind of a waiting state, basically. Uh, and then it's also going to put a 0 into uh, output D1. And that's just turning that output off. Uh, so I, I think this accomplishes all the logic you were looking for. Uh, the things that were kind of missing in, in your code were the resetting of the timers. That's a critical one. Uh, you can either use the reset um, thing that we talked about, or you can put the zero in it, uh, and then finishing off your no blocks. And I'd really recommend uh, sticking to a state machine uh, format. And I, th I think you should be good to go.